Hi guys, Paul here from PA Brew News. This is some mayhem, dull mysteries they said with us. So, in the funeral fog, we shall arise. The boats, the ships are coming. We got shipwreck. They got crashed in the funeral fog. And okay, from Cunningham Brewing Company from Cunningham, Pennsylvania, stout aged in cognac barrels, coming in an extremely sessionable 18.5 alcohol by volume. This is the 2023 release, celebrating their 10 years um, anniversary. This was really cool. 10 year anniversary, to, uh, yeah, 13 to 23. There it is. Boom, bam, boom. Can't say no more. Uh, we have bottle number 148 of 750. Um, this is an expensive bottle. I'm not gonna lie right now. Um, I was over at Maloney's. We're shooting the ship a little bit and he has a couple of these still left I guess he got distributed over there and they were running about 30 bucks a bottle. Now I don't know. I don't believe I paid 30 bucks a bottle because I bought it right at the brewing company But it's still an expensive bottle. Let's be honest probably 25 still pretty pricey. 18.9 Drunk hmm. we'll see So tonight is ribs and relax. Pull the little wine corker bottle toppy off. All right. All right. Well, it should just be a corkscrew kind of thing, not a corkscrew, but like a little cork. Yep. Bloop. Resealable because you're not supposed to drink that all at once. Watch me. All right. Here it goes. And in the proper glassware, which you can't see right now, but just watch. Like magic, you'll see it. Ooh, there he is. Oh, fuck. There it is. Now you can see it. Boom. Cunningham Brewing Company, baby. I'm going to share it with the old... I'm probably going to drink a little bit more than that. But I'm going to share it with the lady, so... I was going to say, oh, that's a lot. <laughs> I know she doesn't want a lot of it, so... I will... Throwing it all over the place. Unbelievable. Beer. Okay. We'll recap it right now just for... To keep some kind of freshness. Freshness sealed. Alright. Let's get an aroma. Up to the light. Uh, it's pretty dark. It's pretty dark. A little bit of a caramel hue at the pinnacle of the, bla of the, of the, of the glass. Can't talk. But let's get an aroma. Cheers. Oh, it smells good. Man, that does. It smells. It smells like cherry cordials, maybe a chocolate covered cherries, just dripped in, in um, in like caramel pepperiness. You know that kind of thing going on. But there was like dark raisins mixed in here too, cherries and raisins. Lovely booziness, caramel, walnut husk. It's not bourbon, it's cognac, but goddamn, smokiness is coming out here, a little bit of leather. I'm trying to see if I can get a little bit of like a pipe tobacco smell, which I think I probably am because I am getting that kind of like brown sugar, raisin, smoky leather tonality. It just didn't click in my brain, I was like, pipe tobacco, but the aromas out of here are just nuts. Yeah, you know, ethanol alcohol bringing a ton of dark fruit with it, and a nice little pepperiness. I don't usually spend this long smelling beers, so <laughs> All right, let's get into it. Cheers. Okay, a little burn, as to be expected, 18.9. Flatter than a witch's tit, <laughs> so definitely dead. It's a dead beer, um, so it's kind of like that flat spirit kind of vibe I think they're going for, because it is dead. Definitely not the hardest thing I've ever had to drink, for sure. It goes down. Again, a lot of there's a, they're still burning. I'm not accl fully acclimated to the beer yet. Soft nuances of fruit. 
you definitely have that kind of sugarless baker's chocolate, roasty toasty qualities with there, a little smoke. Nuances of caramel that it's really nice. Yeah, you're, you're still kind of breathing that dark fruit. There's a nuance of raisin, but you're breathing a lot of that dark fruit. For, uh, dark fruit. Dark fruit. It. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. I can't say this is, you know, it's, it's not blowing my doors off or anything like that, but it is a, you can tell it's a special beer. It's a big ass beer. You have to rate it accordingly. First beer of the day. Why not make it an 18.9? Start off right. Well, anyway, I'm going to get done with this in two more sips, so might as well call it a day and review it. That way I have some stuff to share with the girl. Absolutely. No, no need to drink alone. So right here. Shipwreck. All right. Stout aged in cognac barrels, 18.5. Well, it definitely is a special, special brew. It is kind of like nuanced, though. I don't really consider it a bombastic beer, shoving it in my face, screaming at me the whole time. It is, it is it has a little bit of a sweetness, which is nice. It's overall pretty damn smooth. A lot of nice dark fruits kind of wafting through from that ethanol alcohol. Uh, it's pretty approachable, honestly, and already I'm acclimated to it. So I could keep drinking the whole bottle without a problem. Problem comes later, if you know what I mean. Other than that, yeah. I'd say it's damn fine. No problem with that. I've had way, way worse beers than barrel aged beers that are, you know, it is pricey. So, in that, I'm going to throw in the 8 5 category. It probably won't be for everybody, but I enjoy it. Cheers. Well, here's to another 10 for Cunningham. Cheers. Watch that finger. Yeah.